Okay, I'm going to show you a second way to get photos and videos off of your uh, iPod Touch so you can use them for something. Um, we're going to use a program which is really an unsung hero and that is image capture. Hardly anyone uses this. It kind of sits there. You can use it also if, uh, if you have a scanner as well. But in this case we're going to launch it and what happens is it notices that I have a device attached to it. So here's my um, iPod Touch. Here's all the pictures and the videos that I have um, on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you can see that I've got uh, movies and different things that are on here. It gives me the information about that stuff. The thing that I like the best is that I can just take the photos or the movies or the things that I want. I can highlight them and I can just drag them onto somewhere else. For example, let's say I'm going to use this, uh, this movie of a boy uh, showing me uh, how to do some sorting. I can just grab it or I can grab a couple of these things and I can just throw it right into a folder that I've already said uh, put on my desktop called media pictures or something like that. Or if I had a thumb drive and I went to that computer I could just uh, grab those things, throw it on the thumb drive, walk away from the computer and I've got all my kids photos from that iPod Touch. The advantage of this is it's quick and you don't have to go through iPhoto uh, it's kind of like a quick and dirty way of getting your stuff off there. I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, not a lot of people know about that. In fact, I just learned about it. So anyways, uh, you can all, uh, that's it. I hope you have a great day.